All right, I'm here with Congressman Cloud. Uh, we're talking about the discharge petition uh, that's going to be signed today. Congressman, why are you out here today and why is this so important? You know, when I ran for Congress some months ago, I knew we would have a discussion over the abortion issue. Mm -hmm. I never in my life imagined that we would be talking about whether a child born alive has value or, or not. Right. And so today's discharge petition is really something that should have 435 signatures on it. Mm -hmm. uh, most of America, I mean, assumes that a child born alive has value, that has life, it should be protected. You know, we talk about a nation that protects life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness that goes in order. You know, you have to have life to have liberty and to be able to pursue happiness. And so it's just so essential that we protect life, that we make a bold statement here in Congress that mm -hmm. the United States of America recognizes that a child born alive is worth it. Right. Now to people like me and people at home, they see this and, and they think, well, if we're talking about infanticide, that's already illegal, right? We, we already have laws about yeah. that. In fact, that's what some of the some of the Democrats have been saying in the Senate and the House that, that I've been seeing. So why is it so important that we have to have this on the books? Well, we've seen what's happened in states uh, across the country. There's no legal definition for infanticide. And so we've seen states mm -hmm. questioning whether or not that has happened. And we have cases where um, we have people here today who've survived abortions, but many stories that you hear about those who've nurses coming forward and saying that these children who are born alive have not been protected. They have not received the care. They have not been able to been, uh, have that opportunity for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And unfortunately, their life has been discarded, cast aside, literally put on a shelf to die. Mm -hmm. Now on the state level and local level, we've been seeing a lot of fierce, fierce fighting, even the state of New York where the legislature was applauding. How important is it for us to continue that fight, not just up here with a discharge petition, but on, on the state levels? And what, what do people do um, back at home? Yeah, ultimately, we always get the government, we always get the nation we deserve. And so this requires, this is one of those issues that requires people being involved, calling your congressman, calling your state rep, and doing everything you can to make sure that this issue gets the attention that it deserves. You know, 50 years ago, when Roe v. Wade passed, mm -hmm. uh, ultrasounds were not common. People didn't have a real clear understanding of what was going on in the womb. You could, I wouldn't have been there, but you could little, maybe make the case that you didn't understand what was going on. But we've never had the question of whether a child born alive is a life. That's never been a question. Uh, today, of course, we have 40 ultrasounds. We know that uh, children, even before born, they, they feel pain. They have emotions. They, you know, there's, there's a life in there. And so uh, certainly that's something that needs to be protected, something we have to be involved in. Uh, but a child born alive, this is, this is something the whole nation should be rallying around. Absolutely. And a lot of people, I think a lot of people are, are getting scared to think we've now moved beyond the abortion issue. This is a life issue, but it has nothing to do with abortion, right? And so it, that right. it's getting to that point. So, so uh, do you see it moving beyond this or do you see it getting better at a certain point? What do we have to do to help that? The silver lining in this discussion has been, while it's sad we have to talk about this issue, you see the American people rising up. Uh, and moving toward an understanding that protecting life is important. Um, and so uh, the heart of the nation is with us on this issue. Mm -hmm. That's the encouraging thing about it. We just need to have them stand up to be a voice, to do their part in making sure that legislation gets passed not only here in Congress but throughout the nation.